Hi, welcome to a Gallium Labs tutorial for Networker and Data Domain. Dell EMC Data Domain is a data deduplication storage system with backup, archive, and data protection capabilities. Dell EMC Networker is a unified management software. It provides a single GUI for backup and restores of a client system. How do they work together? A Networker client is installed on the client you wish to backup, Windows, Linux, etc. Then from the Networker server, you can tell your client to backup towards the data domain using Data Domain's DDBoost protocol. What if your clients aren't compatible with DDBoost, or you don't want the extra CPU strain at the source? Simply back them up the traditional way and use a storage node to offload the deduplication. What is DDBoost? It is Data Domain's proprietary protocol for file transfer. This special protocol uses deduplication on the client and on the data domain unit to increase backup speeds, reduce backup size, while also decreasing network bandwidth strain on your network. Now let's add our data domain to our networker as a new file system. Right-click on Enterprise, select New, then Host. Enter the FQDN for your data domain. Select Data Domain. Enter your SNMP community name. In our case, it's public. Now that it has been added, let's launch our Networker Administrator. Once open, select the Devices tab to start creating a pool for your Networker to back up to. Select New Device Wizard. Specify which unit is our storage provider. Enter your DDBoost credentials. Create a new folder for your backups. Select the Create and use a new pool option. Enter your new pool name. Review your SNMP options. Review your configuration settings, then click Configure. Now let's set up our backup by heading to the Protection tab, clicking on Clients, and Add New Client Wizard. Enter your client's FQDN or IP address and make sure it's your correct client. Select your client's priority level. Select which folder or folders are meant to be backed up. Review and finish. Now select Groups, New. Give a name for your group. Select your client and Create. Select Policies, Create New Policy. Give it a name, create a new workflow for that policy, create a name for it, add it to your defined group from before, add an action, and give it a name. Select your backup options, then Next. Select your destination pool that you created. Optionally, you can select your advanced options, review, and then finish. Before we start our workflow, let's head over to our data domain to review a few things. As outlined, there is no written logical or physical written data, no compression either. Now let's start the backup. Now we can see a compression factor of 0.1 times. So the folder we selected is very small. Let's add a new file with one gig of data overall and back that up. Let's run the backup 
and check the command line on the data domain while using the ddbooz show stat interval 1 command. You can see the data coming in and being saved in real time. This will be important later. As you can see in the data domain GUI, the compression ratio is 1.9 times. Now let's make a folder with a different name but the same contents and back that up. As you can see, it's the same contents. Now once more, let's head to the networker and start the backup. Heading back to the command line, you can see the data being deduplicated in real time. Coming back to the data domain GUI, you can now see all the data being saved, deduplicated, and then written on the file system, and the compression is now 3.8 times. Now for the recovery process. Here I'll delete both files, and then I'll head over to Networker and press the Recover tab. Select Recover, and then the New Recovery. Select the client you want to recover. Select which files you want recovered, in this case, both the ones we deleted. Select your recovered file options. Give your recovery a name, and then run recovery. Watch the recovery logs. Once done, head over back to your client, and voila! Thank you for watching.